Hello there everybody and welcome back. We are here for week 25 of the Altered Index Challenge. This is the challenge that is being run in my Facebook group, Nonstop Paper Crafts. Um, it's also being hosted in the Junk Journaling for Everyone Facebook group. So if you decide to have a go at these and you want to post your makes, it would be great to see them over in those two Facebook groups. Uh, if you are posting elsewhere, so whether you're doing a video on YouTube or Instagram, if you use the hashtag Altered Index 2024 um, when you are posting and then we can at least come and have a look at what you've done and be inspired by you as well. So each week I'm releasing three prompts. Um, this week the prompts are charcoal, that's the colour. We have stamp, that's the thing. And patience is the word. So they're the three prompts for this week charcoal stamp and patience so I have gathered some bits together so obviously I've got my index card and I'm using um, index cards that are four inches by six inches you can use any size that you like uh, lots of other people are using different items as well they're not just using index cards um, you could be creating different size journal cards some people are doing them on tags some people I'm actually doing them in art journals um, and they're just using the prompts to complete their page. So you can use these prompts however you wish. So I'm using my index cards just because I'm trying to get rid of some of my stash. I've already made up my tab um, and then I've gathered some bits that I'm hoping to use. So because the colour is charcoal, obviously my tab is already in a charcoal colour. Um, I've got this dyed piece of paper that's also in a kind of greyish colour that I'm going to use um, and because we had stamp and I thought that could have two meanings because it could be post stamp or it could be like a stamped image uh, that's stamped with ink so I have gone through different bits in my stash so I've got some different vellum pages here I've also got some washi stickers uh, and I've gone for the kind of travel theme rather than doing some stamping. So I try to pick out things that tend to have quite dark images, so like black and white. So again, kind of hit that charcoal. Um, so I've got a few different washi stickers there, some of them that actually look sort of a stamp shape, even though they are obviously quite large. Um, and then I've got these pages that are vellum, small vellum pages, but they're all like maps or handwritten letters, um, that kind of a thing. And I've got more than I need, but I just wanted to kind of see uh, what went well. So what I'm going to do is basically trim this so this becomes my background. I'm going to collage all of my different pieces onto here. Now, because they are washi or vellum, you will still slightly see um, the background coming through. It won't be great but you'll kind of see it coming through um i've also got these couple of ladies because it was stamps and travel i've got this one um this sticker which has her with a little suitcase and her purse and she's got a map in her hand so i thought that one might be um one that i want to use or this one she is opening a letter uh, so i don't know which one i'm going to use yet i might use both i'm not sure um so i've got those to the side and then obviously i've got my word patience um, I've used my label maker for that um, and I have also got these tapes. Now none of these had patience on them but I thought if I have the word patience I've also got great things take time. So obviously if you think if you're waiting for a letter from somebody or if you're you know looking forward to a holiday to a break you know it's about having patience those great memories will take time they will come along eventually um, so yeah that's kind of where I was heading with this. Uh, I also found a box of charcoal, so I may try and incorporate that a little bit as well. But if I don't, then I don't, it doesn't matter because I've got lots of kind of charcoal colours going on already. So let's get this started then. First thing I need to do is kind of chop this down um, a little bit. So I'm just going to grab my trimmer. So first of all, I need it four inches. So let's do that bit first. And then I need it six inches. So let's pull out the arm. Okay, so that's going to be my base. Right, 
moving the index card for a moment. Right, so then as I said, all I wanted to do was kind of collage some of these pieces. And I obviously don't need to use all of them. I do really like this bike. So I could use that. Obviously, I do want some kind of darker things because obviously the charcoal is supposed to be the colour. Um, so this map actually has some black on it. I'm just trying to look which way it goes. Is it that way? I think it might be. Uh, what else have we got? So I think I need to decide actually whether I'm going to have the lady travelling or the lady with the letter. I mean, she has got black on her. I know she's also actually got black, hasn't she? In her top. But I think I might... Oh, I don't know. Right, let's see actually what we've got. So I've got letter dispatch. This one also looks like a letter, doesn't it? So yeah, I think I'll have the lady with the letter. Um, so maybe instead of the maps... Let's get rid of the maps. I've got some that have like postage marks and things and handwriting. I mean, it's so teeny tiny, you can't tell what which way up it's supposed to go. I've got some more handwriting. I've got another large stamp. Um, I think I might swap out like for that one because again it's like kind of greyish colour so it goes quite nicely. I kind of just want to keep layering it up like this. So we've got this one and it doesn't matter if you can obviously see a bit of the background because again it's charcoal so it kind of goes with everything anyway. Um, so I might have her standing there. Uh, obviously I need my sentiment. So if I move these over slightly of having my sentiment down here. I think that's actually a receipt so I don't want that one. Okay and these are all like map ones so I definitely don't want those ones. I might add that down there because the sentiment can still kind of go over it can't it. So we might add this one. Right so if that's what I'm going for Oh, actually, or do we want this one? No, I think we'll go for that one. It fits better. Right, so I don't need these stickers. We'll move those out of the way. So if this is how it's going to go on... This one's obviously going to go down first. So let's start getting this side down. Now I am using the Belly Art Glue. It works really lovely with vellum. Like it, um, it does dry clear, so it's really good. And it actually holds the vellum as well. So I'm just 
going to stick that down there. That's that one. And I think we we're going to have this one. Now the great thing about these challenges is about using up your stash. I have so many supplies and they need to be used, which is why I initially kind of started this kind of challenge with different prompts because it just encourages me to um, be a little bit more creative and have a look through what I've got and see what I can use. Oh, no, that did work. I saw this trick the other day where somebody said, just roll the base of your thumb down and it peels the stickers. Because if any of you know me, I am awful at peeling off stickers. But this genuinely works. I'll show you again in a minute because I've got lots of stickers to stick down. Right, so that one goes on there. Right, we we're going to have this one. So with the sticker, the idea is, is that you literally just roll from the base of your thumb down and it just peels away straight away. That didn't take me any time at all, did it? And normally I'm here forever and a day trying to peel away, which is super frustrating normally. stuck on there. Just going to move those over a second. Oops, a little bit wonky. go there um, then let's try and think how these went is it something like that and she was going to stand there wasn't she in that gap Something like that. Right, so let's get rid of those two and get these two stuck down. Not sure which way around this goes. say this glue is brilliant with vellum so again that trick with the sticker you just use the base of your thumb and pull down and it just peels the sticker away the amount of times and this actually makes me quite sad and cross and almost want to cry that there are times where I've genuinely spent almost five minutes trying to peel them away and then I saw this trick and I can't even remember where I saw it, it might have been Instagram and I literally, when I saw it, I ran, I ran to my craft room to give it a go and it worked. Right, so she's going to be standing there. So where do I want these? Maybe that one there. And then this one up at the top, something like that. So we've got lots of kind of charcoal-y colours in this, which is obviously what we want. one yeah look how easy these are peeling away I can't actually believe this is the first time I'm using lots of stickers all at once as well so it's actually quite brilliant how easily these are coming away right let's get rid of some of this rubbish right and then she's going to go there let's see if it works the same for these white stickers 
Oh, it does. Look at that. So she goes up the front. I mean, if you're somebody that does not like that white border, obviously you can trim round. Um, it doesn't bother me. And if I'm honest, I cannot be bothered to be trimming around. I hate fussy cutting. So we've got patience, that's our word, and then great things take time. So I have got a little bit of black ink on this. I'm just going to ink slightly around the edge just to kind of help it pop a bit on the page. Because it's not quite so dark, because I haven't re-inked this, this is just what's left on here. It does have a slight charcoal effect. So let's have it, where do we want it? Up there, so patience. Great things take time. Okay, so patience, great things take time. That's that one. So that's going to get stuck onto this journey card. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the bottom of this washi because it does seem to be curling a little bit in this corner. Just to kind of hold that down. And all of this is going to get stuck to my index card. Okay, so that is the base of the card. So now I need to get my number 25 on there. So using my template, this is so I know where all my tabs go. Uh, this is going to be going on this side. So I need to add some glue to the back of this. And then that comes down over the top, like so. And there is my altered index number 25. So let's have a little reminder of the prompts. So we've got charcoal. Um, I've got all different kind of shades of blacks and greys in there. Uh, so that works really well. Stamp, um, I've got lots of different stamp and postage style um, images in there. And patience, patience, great things take time. So that's my altered index number 25. As I say, I really hope that you give this a go yourself. If you do, you are welcome to post in the Facebook groups, Nonstop Paper Crafts and Junk Journaling for Everyone. If you are posting anywhere else, please use the hashtag altered index 2024 so we can all be inspired by your um, interpretations of these prompts as well. It has been awesome seeing everybody's cards so far. It's always really cool to see how differently people do interpret these different prompts. If you have enjoyed watching this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Um, I really love reading your comments down below as well. So please feel free to pop something in the comment section. If you are not already subscribed, please click that subscribe button and the bell button so you are notified of any new crafty videos. Well, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next crafty video. Bye for now.